Hello, Assalamualaikum. Today I am going to show you how we can use background remover in Slide Master tool. As you know, Slide Master is a very important tool to create unclickable background layout for your main slide. You can use these layouts while you are working on your main slide. So let's see how I have created this awesome background for one of my projects. So let's go. Before we move forward, please subscribe to my channel. It will inspire me to share more awesome videos like this in the future. First, you need to find the slide master, uh, which you can find in the view tab. Then create a new slide from the left options right there, just like you create in the main slide. I'm customizing it as I require then I'm inserting a picture finally got it so now I'm duplicating the image because I don't need to change the black and white composition of this image I mean this background of this image I only want to put some eff effects on the camera so I'm, I have duplicated it now I'm going to put some effects on it then I will remove the background of the duplicated image it might look a little harsh right now but it will look good trust me so click on the format and then the remover background remove and select mark areas to remove and now i'm selecting the areas which I want to remove from this duplicated image you need to do this with a little careful hand because it goes beyond control sometimes So it's done. I have removed the background which I didn't need it and I got back my black and white composition. Now I am inserting a shape on my image. I want a little purple effect on my image. So using the purple color and increasing the transparency level. Sending the purple image backwards so that I can get it between the duplicated image and the main image and it will be the first layer of purple effect on the background. Now I need a dark layer on the whole theme. So I am simply copy pasting the existing layer and the new layer will by default come in front of the whole thing now I'm selecting a darker color mm. as I need a dark layer on this you can mm, adjust the transparency level as well So yes, it's done. Now you can go back to your main home page and go to background format and select this layout from the layout option.
in this part i am simply creating a cover page and to show you how you can work on this background without any problem it will not move as you move the objects you are inserting now this cover page is also usable if you want so you can watch this part as well to use this cover page for your assignments or presentations
if you like my tutorials please subscribe to my channel and leave a comment below you can share my content as well please 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 subscribe because it's free you know